Hello everyone, this is Dak13, and I thought I would post a jailbreaking update video because recently I have been getting tons of questions from everybody. I've been getting comments on my videos, I've been getting messages sent to me on YouTube and my email account, and people just really want an untethered jailbreak for 4.3.4 or 4.3.5. So I thought I would make this video um, of me talking about uh, that jailbreak and when you could expect it. So currently for 4.3.4 or 4.3.5, the only kind of jailbreak there is now for those two firmwares is a completely tethered jailbreak. And that is with Red Snow or Snowbreeze. Now, you guys may be wondering how come you don't have any tutorials of the latest Snowbreeze or Red Snow uh, for the 4.3.4 and 4.3.5 firmwares. And the reason for that is because I really don't like tethered jailbreaks. They are completely pointless in my opinion. Uh, it's good for developers who uh, want to, um, you know, update their tweaks and Cydia apps uh, for the newer firmwares, but other than that, for the daily user, a Tether jailbreak is something you do not want. So that is why I did not uh, make any tutorials for a Tether jailbreak. I personally do not think there will be an untethered jailbreak before 5.0 comes out. So as you guys know, iOS 5 is going to be coming out pretty soon, and if a developer were to release an untethered jailbreak now with a new exploit, it would be com it would be a completely waste of an exploit because Apple would patch it, and then for 5.0, that exploit would be completely wasted. So that's why I think until iOS 5 comes out, I do not think there will be an untethered jailbreak for 4.3.4 or 4.3.5. So I think, like I said, once iOS 5 comes out and an untethered jailbreak is available for iOS 5, then an untethered jailbreak will be available for 4.3.4 and 4.3.5. But everyone who has those two firmwares is probably going to update to iOS 5 anyways, so it won't really matter. Currently, the only way to get an untethered jailbreak on your device if you're on 4.3.4 or 4.3.5 is either wait until 5.0 is released or downgrade to 4.3.3. Now, if you would like to learn on how to downgrade your device, I do currently have a tutorial. It works from 4.3.4 or 4.3.5 down to 4.3.3. And if you have a Verizon iPhone, then you can download from 4.2.9 or 4.2.10 down to 4.2.8. So there should be an annotation on the screen now, just click there and it will take you directly to my downgrade tutorial and that's pretty much it for this jailbreaking update video. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video by clicking the like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my second channel, Other to Hacker 13 my gaming channel, Spirals Gaming, and also follow me on Twitter. Those three links will be in the description down below. Please click the annotation on the screen now to watch my previous video if you haven't already. Once again guys, thanks for watching the video and see you all later.